Yo, what up, everybody? I've been meaning to make this video for a long time, too, but... Oh, come on, shut up. Yo, what up, everybody? Here's another uh, uh, video I've been trying to make for a while now. So, this guy, a few months ago. This is in Tampa Bay Times. Pasco Sheriff's Office deputy arrested, then fired after he's accused of lewd act. Can you imagine what this guy did? Uh, just imagine in your head. What a lewd act is. A lewd act. What could this Pasco County Sheriff's Deputy, the same uh, Sheriff's Department that's fucking with me and didn't understand the First Amendment and civil rights and et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So this is uh, Mercado. What's his name? First name. Pasco Sheriff. Joseph Mercado was fired on February 28th. The rest, the agency said, the 2016 image, blah, 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 blah. So... This guy, the deputy, was arrested and then fired after a woman accused him of performing a lewd act in front of her and then unlawfully touching her, according to the Pasco County Sheriff's Office. Joseph Mercado, 25 years old. By the way, this is the sheriff, This is the deputy that they put on that uh, live police stupid show where I watch for 30 seconds and see like four fucking laws they're breaking, the cops, I mean. Anyway, this is the cop they put on that show. He was arrested on charge of misdemeanor battery and fired on February 28th, said Sheriff Spokeswoman Mel Melanie Snow. He had been with the agency since January 2015. The Pasco County Sheriff's Office does, ensures discipline is paramount in our organization. That is propaganda. Sheriff Chris Nako said in a statement about the incident, allegations were investigated, he was arrested and terminated. Under Florida law, misdemeanor batteries defined as touching or striking someone against their will. The incidents took place about 3 a.m. According to the arrest report, the deputy was off duty at the time. The identity of the woman, the address of the incident is not released. Good, that's good. Air Sheriff's Office did not say that Mercado and the woman were not romantically involved. The Sheriff's Office did say that Mercado and the woman were not romantically involved at the time. At the time. So, sounds like it could have been an ex-girlfriend. According to the arrest report, Mercado went to the woman's home under the guise of discussing a serious incident that he witnessed. She agreed to speak to Mercado in the driveway, so she was not even comfortable having this guy come in her house as a, as a deputy. Mercado then masturbated in front of the woman who repeatedly asked him to leave, the report stated. He then touched the woman on her upper torso, her boobs, the report said, and attempted to place his finger on the victim's lip prior to her pulling away. I, th I believe this is after he uh, jizzed on himself. She continued to ask Mercado to leave the report, said then went inside her home, then he left. He was arrested. I see, I, I read another report somewhere where he actually finished while he was masturbating, like completed the act, uh, uh, came on his hand and then tried to wipe the jizz on her, the girl's chest and on, on her lip. Okay, we will terminate a case by case basis. Snow said it really depends on the charge. In this case, this was battery, so he was terminated. All right. So there's Joseph Mercado, the guy they they put on the live PD show to show the nation what a great uh, sheriff's department there. And in there, he has the desecrated American flag. So there's Joseph Mercado goes to a girl's house, lies about something he had to talk to her about, starts masturbating in her driveway. Out in public, in her driveway, finishes in his hand, which I read on a different report. I could be wrong. Correct me if I'm wrong. And then tries to wipe his jizz hand on her boobs and on her lips. There you go. This is the guy they put. And this is the, the department I'm supposed to trust when they cordon off my neighborhood and won't let me go to my own home without, without me surrendering my Fourth Amendment right. So there you go, Mercado. And then you got Mercado here again. This thing might go haywire, but... He got arrested again. Former Pasco deputy arrested a second time for tampering with evidence while on duty. Let's see if I can get some volume on this. I can't hear anything. Whatever. So this thing's going to get loud here in a second. It's going to be stupid. Former Pat has been arrested again for conduct while on duty, according to the Pasco County Sheriff's. Held a press conference. Blah, blah, blah. Let's see here. Uh, place, oh, see, see, that other Tampa Bay Times report was terminated in the sheriff's office after he was arrested on 28th for inappropriately touching a woman against her will and placing his semen on her. Mercado is charged with battery. 
Arrested 28 days, a statement after a single bad arrest, investigation, evidence bag. Okay. When examining evidence, he found a bag that contained methamphetamine, syringes, and other items. Surveillance video shows Mercado throw the bag over a fence, and the homeowner of the house on that property destroyed the bag and accused the arrested, accused the arrested suspect of setting him up. The suspect told the homeowner that the sheriff's office set him up when Mercado threw the bag over the fence. Hey, what a... Oh, my God. This is amazing. So there you go. There's your guy, Mercado. There's Chris Nako. There's... Oh, there's the video. He's looking through the bag. He throws it over the fence here. Total scumbag piece of shit. There he is. Yeah, look at that smile. These are the guys I'm supposed to trust that everyone says they're just doing their job. They're just doing their job. Yeah, they're just doing their job. All right, thanks for watching, guys. Appreciate it. Bye.